Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How are you all doing? It's official. Victor Lindelof has signed for Manchester United from Benfica for roughly around about 30 million pounds, 35 million euros. Welcome back to some more official player transfers, guys. If you want to see more on the channel, the best thing you guys can do is leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new around here. So guys, let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts and opinions on Victor Lindelof joining Manchester. United. I'll be curious to know and let me know if I've missed out on any official player transfers that have gone on. So in this video, we're going to be running through Victor Lindelof's stats on FIFA. We're going to be running through stats in real life and we're also just going to be talking about Manchester United and the defensive position mostly. So let's start off with Lindelof. Um, in real life, he's 22 years of age, born in Sweden. He stands at six foot two. He is a centre back. Obviously, played his youth career in Sweden from 2007 to 2009. He did move to Benfica in his youth career from 2012 to 2013. Uh, he went to the Benfica B Academy from 2012. Played 96 games for Benfica, scored four goals, and then from 2013 onwards until now, he played 48 goals for uh, 48 games for Benfica and two goals. Oh, actually went back to his Swedish club, Vastaria, I think that's how you say it, I'm not entirely sure. So he had his youth career, went to Benfica for a bit, went back to Sweden, and then went back to Benfica. Interesting. All right. Okay, international career caps wise, he's played 12 games for Sweden and has scored one goal. On FIFA, he's 21 years of age, six foot two. Swedish, of course, can play in the centre back position. He is a right footer, has a medium attacking work rate, a medium defensive work rate, three star weak foot, and two star skill moves. Rating overall at 79. Specialised traits wise, he apparently doesn't have any, which surprised me. You'd think he'd at least have one or two or so. On FIFA, he's 79 overall rating, puts his value at roughly around about 10 million pounds. Uh, in real life, he signed for roughly around about 30, so a little bit cheaper in FIFA. To be fair, he's probably better in real life than he is in FIFA at the moment. His key stats are his jumping, 81, his aggression, 81, his interceptions, 81, his stand tackle, 79, his strengths, 79, and his reaction as well with 79. So let's quickly talk about the Manchester United. United defense. Now, I'm curious to know your thoughts and opinions of it. Now, this season, I reckon we're going to be playing a four at the back with Damian at left back. I really, really do like Damian at right back. Uh, sorry, left back rather said. Jose Mourinho likes playing with left backs with right footers. I don't really know why. So I reckon the two-man partnership will, will be between Lindelof and Eric Bailly and Antonio Valencia at right back. So what does this mean for other centre-backs in the side? I have a feeling Jose is either going to sell uh, Chris Smalling or uh, Jones. It's going to be either one of them two. Now, what do I think about L Lindelof? I'm kind of unsure. I would have actually liked someone a little bit more defensively. From what I've seen from Lindelof this season, he's not very good with his head. He is very good at distribution. He's really good on the ball. I would have liked someone a little bit more defensively, if I'm being honest. More kind of uh, just a little bit more stronger like Eric Bay, because the thing is, right, Eric Bay is going to be an awesome setter back in the future. He had such a good season this year, but if he gets injured, who's really going to step up? Um, some people I've been reading have been saying that Lindelof is like uh, the Swedish John Stones, very good on the ball and has very good distribution. So I think Lindelof and Eric Bay would make a pretty decent partnership. Thirty-five million pounds price-wise, that's sort of yeah, that's sort of the going rate that you have to pay now for these sort of centre backs. But I feel like I would like something a little bit more defensively. It's going to be interesting to see how he goes in the Premier League, but I do have high hopes for him, and hopefully he does well. You only can wish him the best. So that's pretty much it. We're gaining one Swede, and we're losing one Swede in Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Uh, the Morata deal looks like it's going to be coming on soon. I'm really surprised like how out of nowhere this came. Like We've been rumoured with Lindelof for about a year or so, but then all of a sudden United's you know, like, yeah, we got him. <laughs> that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comment section down below your 
your thoughts and opinions about Victor Lindelof. How, how, Lindelof, how is he going to do at Manchester United? How is he going to do in the Premier League? Would you have liked to have him in your Premier League side? Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. Also about United's defence. Who do you think is going to go because of this? Rojo doesn't look like he's going to be coming back until Christmas time, December. And it looks like perhaps Smalling or Jones might be leaving. Out of those two, which one would you like to see leave? Or maybe we, bo we need both of them. Who knows? If you guys want to stay connected with me on my social media links, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram are all in the description below. If you guys want to get yourself some cheap and reliable games, perhaps some PSN and Xbox codes to buy packs, check out my G2A affiliation link in the description below. That's G2A Patreon Steam group there as well. Stay tuned for more videos on the channel. Stay tuned for more career mode, football manager, and more official player transfers coming throughout July and August. Thanks, guys. Take care of yourselves. Stay tuned for more videos. My name is Ben Simpson. Goodbye. Mares whips it into the box. Royce! That is just ridiculous. With the layup, Marco Royce.